But with the widespread use of human humanoid robots, physical work will become a choice. AI-powered robots will help people eliminate dangerous, repetitive, and boring tasks. Tesla is arguably the biggest robotics company because our cars are like semi-sentient robots on wheels. The economy is fundamentally built upon labor, so this will have profound implications as capital equipment enters the labor market. Hey, I'm Stephen and this is Solving the Money Problem. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. So Elon Musk has just given an enormous hint into the future of Tesla and also implied that you, yes you, you listening right now, will in the future become obsolete, at least in terms of your ability to contribute meaningfully and add value to the labor market. Now, this really warrants discussion. For those of you who haven't heard the wonderful quote, the best way to predict the future is to create it, I just want to point out that Elon Musk is somebody who literally creates the future. Shout out to reusable rockets, halfway toward colonizing Mars, shout out to moving the entire automotive industry toward electrification single-handedly, I might add. We're also talking about somebody who's pioneering a human-machine interface, Neuralink. If you haven't seen a monkey playing mind pong, one, what are you doing with your life? And two, there's a card in the corner. Okay, this guy literally creates the future. So. When Elon Musk makes comments about the future, a lot of people's eyes tend to glaze over, sometimes because they have no idea what he's talking about, other times because they're too many standard deviations away from being able to understand what he's talking about. But it's really important to understand. Elon Musk is giving us a huge hint into the future of Tesla. The implications here are worth trillions of dollars. Of course, these comments made in passing, a lot of people, oh, what is he talking about? He's so weird, that Elon guy. I'm telling you guys now, in 20, 30, 40 plus years, these comments will have aged very well. So pay close attention to what Elon says. Now, to the Tesla stock investors, if you can't quite read between the lines, allow me to drop an enormous hint introducing a brand new piece of merch, Tesla. To the Oh, isn't that cute? Elon and I are finishing each other's sentences now. If you'd like your own updated Tesla to the Moon merch, shirts, mugs, hoodies, phone cases, and more, there's a link in the description. This is an updated design. After all, when I initially dropped the Tesla to the Moon shirt design, I had just come back from a time machine. It turned out in the following six months after dropping that merch, Tesla stock put on approximately 420%. Not even kidding, feel free to fact check me. So is this another prediction about where Tesla stock will be heading in the near term? Well, I'll leave that up to you guys to decide. In either case, check out the link in the description if you'd like your own Tesla to the moon merch design with the updated price chart. Just between you and I, I do have a funny feeling that this may turn out to be rather prophetic, like the first merch design. So with that said, let's get into the video. If you love crypto, stocks, and free stuff, or just want to help out the channel, check out these great offers. BlockFi are launching the world's first Bitcoin rewards credit card. People in the US can earn 1.5% Bitcoin back on every purchase with no annual fee using the BlockFi Bitcoin rewards credit card. Check out the link in the description. And for a limited time, you can get up to $250 in crypto bonuses when funding a new account on BlockFi where you can use cryptocurrency to earn interest, borrow cash, and buy or sell crypto. If you want your free crypto, use the link in the description and if you'd like up to two free stocks check out the link in the description to Weeble. if you open a new account you'll get one free stock valued up to $300 just for opening an account and if you make an initial deposit of $5 or more you'll get a second free stock valued up to $2,000 seriously Free stocks? Yes, please. And finally, if you're in Australia, the UK, or New Zealand, you can get a free stock with stake also linked in the description. Thanks so much for your support, guys. Let's get back to it. So let's listen to what Elon Musk had to say, and please pay very close attention. Words matter. Many people believe AI is the ultimate application of digital technologies, and it will push human society towards a digital civilization. It seems likely to me that AI will both serve and be served by humans in a symbiotic relationship that I hope will benefit both digital and biological intelligence. Moreover, with the widespread use of human humanoid robots, physical work will become a choice. Okay, we're gonna talk about this. I quote, with the widespread use of humanoid robots, physical labor, physical work, you, as in you watching right now, may not need to work. In fact, it will become an option, a choice, not a necessity. Does anyone know any companies that have unveiled plans to say develop humanoid robots and if so please let me know in the comments below i'd certainly love to invest in the stock of such a company given the fact that they may literally make every human being on earth obsolete when it comes to adding value in the labor market just out of interest let me know in the comments below who currently has a job does something professionally for work for income 
that they don't absolutely love, as in something that they wouldn't do voluntarily if they had a choice. Please, let me know in the comments below. Don't bullshit. Oh, I love my job. Oh, it's really rewarding and fulfilling. Be honest with yourself. Look, some people do actually do something they absolutely love. I'm one of these people. I don't need to be working right now, but I love doing what I'm doing so much that I would do it even if I didn't need to. And um, spoiler alert. I don't need to. And by the way, I just want to give a special shout out to Past Steven for setting some audacious goals, working his face off, saving, living frugally, doing whatever it took, and now being in a position where work is voluntary. Another way to think about this, if you didn't need to work, if you didn't have to worry about earning income for whatever reason, there was UBI or you'd saved and invested well, and you had more than enough to cover your lifetime expenses, what would you be doing with your time? Would you be pursuing artistic passions, trying to be the world's most amazing parent, would you be making videos on YouTube like a weirdo? Would you be traveling the world? Or would you just voluntarily continue to work at your current job? These are very important questions to be asking yourself now. Like Elon, I believe in the coming decades, work will become optional. If you're anything like me, having an extremely clear mission and purpose to pursue is the most important foundation for a life well lived. So if you're anything like me, somebody who's wired, who really needs a strong, clear mission and purpose to be pursuing, I highly advise you guys and girls, but especially the guys, don't cancel me bro, start thinking about this now. Otherwise, you may find yourself at some point in the future facing a crisis of meaning and spiraling ever downward. Not a good place to be. Now, I suspect at this point, there's a few people a little bit confused. How does this even work? What do you mean my labor won't be needed? I don't need to work. Where do I get income from? Where's the money come from? I don't understand. Let's think about this for a moment. So let's just imagine hypothetically today, you earn a pretty good income. You're making around $69,000 a year working as a fluffer on adult film sets. This is the perfect example of physical labor. If in the future, somebody produces a humanoid robot that can do your job even better than you and costs, let's just say, less than $69,000, it'd be a crazy idea not to replace you because with one year's salary, you could have a robot that could do your job for the next decade or more and do it better than you ever could. Now, for a humanoid robot to outperform you in this particular role probably won't require a huge amount of intellectual capacity. However, it will require some mechanical capabilities. Let's just leave it at that. However, this is the beginning of the path. The first jobs that humanoid robots will replace are very simple, repetitive, mechanical tasks, physical labor. But over time, as the AI powering these humanoid robots continues to improve and evolve, these intelligent humanoid robots will systematically begin climbing the ladder of intellectual abilities, so to speak, and replace people in more and more sophisticated, intellectually demanding jobs. And there's no end in sight. At some point in the future, a humanoid robot powered by artificial general intelligence will be better than a human at every job, physical and intellectual, not some, every. Man, I sure do wish I knew a company that was developing such a humanoid robot that had artificial intelligence capabilities, who was applying a bit of a Trojan horse strategy. Yeah, we're just gonna replace physical labor. Next minute, the AI becomes artificial general intelligence and the singularity occurs. The human labor market becomes completely obsolete and they also expand the entire global economy by multiple orders of magnitude. Damn, the shame no such company exists, isn't it? AI powered robots will help people eliminate dangerous, repetitive and boring tasks. Most immediately, intelligent and connected vehicles are the next generation of internet devices that will transform our lives. Tesla is much more than an electric car company. We are developing full self-driving vehicles with practical vision-based artificial intelligence, including chip development on the inference level and on the training level. I should emphasize that we believe autonomous driving can be achieved entirely by vision neural nets. After all, humans are running a biological vision neural net in order to drive. So it makes sense that computers will be able to drive by using a silicon camera neural net. Tesla is arguably the biggest robotics company because our cars are like semi-sentient robots on wheels. The economy is fundamentally built upon labor, so this will have profound implications as capital equipment enters the labor market. So let's just take a moment to consider what Elon said. Quote, Tesla is arguably the world's biggest robotics company. He ain't wrong. Two plus million robots today on roads, moving through the environment in the real world taking in information with their sensors, then planning, and then taking actions. Now, I know there's going to be that person in the comment, Cars aren't robots. Why? Because they have wheels instead of limbs? Let's look up a few definitions of what a robot is. A robot is a machine, especially one programmable by a computer, capable of carrying out a complex series of actions automatically. 
A robot can be guided by an external control device or the control may be embedded within. Here is another definition. A robot is a type of automated machine that can execute specific tasks with little or no human intervention and with speed and precision. Seems to me like a Tesla vehicle could certainly fit within those descriptions. Elon also described Teslas as semi-sentient. You know what comes after semi-sentient? That's right, fully sentient. And this brings us back to Tesla's humanoid robot. As I've been saying since we saw AI Day and the humanoid robot was first unveiled, I believe that Tesla is ultimately going to be the company that creates artificial general intelligence and it is going to be deployed, trained and evolve through the Tesla humanoid robot. Elon Musk is dropping a lot of hints about the future. The implications are profound and we just need to follow the breadcrumbs. Listen again to Elon's final statement. The economy is fundamentally built upon labor, so this will have profound implications as capital equipment enters the labor market. The economy is fundamentally built upon labor, so this will have profound implications as capital equipment. He's referring to cars and then beyond that, Tesla humanoid robots enter the labor market. Just finally, as we wrap up, I want to remind everybody watching that less than two months ago at Tesla's AI Day, Elon Musk wondered out loud when discussing Tesla's humanoid robot. Is there a limit to the size of the economy? This, I think, will be quite, quite profound because if you say, it like, what is the economy? It is, at the foundation, it is labor. So what happens when there is, uh, you know, no shortage of, of labor? This is why I think long term that there will need to be universal basic income. Um, yeah. But, but not right now because this robot doesn't work. Uh, so <laughs> we just need a minute. <laughs> Yeah, but I think it's, it's essentially in the future, uh, physical work will be a choice. If you, if you want to do it, you can, but you won't need to do it. It obviously has profound implications for the economy because uh, given that the economy at, at its foundational level uh, is labor, I mean, capital, is, uh, capital equipment is just distilled labor. Is there any actual limit to the economy? Uh, maybe not. So here's a little bit of homework. Pretty simple, but it might hurt a little bit. Have a think about that. Really, take some time to let the implications sink in. Try to understand what on earth Elon could possibly mean by that statement and what the implications may be, not only for you, not only for Tesla stock investors, not only for Tesla's market capitalization, but for every human on the planet. I'm Stephen Mark Ryan. This is Solving the Money Problem, and I love you all. And don't forget the BlockFi Bitcoin Rewards credit card, where you can earn 1.5% Bitcoin back on every purchase. There's a link in the description. You can also earn up to $250 in crypto bonuses when funding a new account on BlockFi, also linked below. And finally, don't forget your free stocks with Weeble and Stake, also linked in the description. These great offers also help out the channel. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if you have any ideas for future videos, let me know. I read all your comments. P.S. If you're still watching, you're awesome. If you'd like early access, exclusive videos, regular Q&As, our private Discord server and more, consider supporting the channel at patreon.com slash solving the money problem so I can keep creating content for you guys. There's a link in the description. You can now also become a member of the channel for some exclusive perks. To learn more, click the join button next to subscribe and don't forget to check out our merch store. Either way, the best form of support is you being here and watching so thanks again.